In this screencast, we're going to be taking a look at the Synology Disk Station Manager software version 3.0. It comes on the Disk Station 211 Plus that we're doing a review on. And this is pretty much the heart of the Disk Station, the software that controls all of the shares, the drives, and all of the extra features that come on the Synology uh, Disk Station. We're going to be looking at the control panel, but first I would like to show you this. This is what your desktop will look like when you open the web browser to the disk station. You have this drop-down menu here, and this contains some of the major functions, control panel, and file browser, which just allows, it's just a file manager for the shares and the files on there. We're going to start with storage manager. This is uh, the first one of the first places that you will be uh, going into when you set up your disk station. It allows you to quickly look at your volumes and the uh, the RAID levels that you have set up. Right now we're running the Synology Hybrid Storage and it is a, a RAID function that will allow you to pair unlike size drives in there. Now we can also look at hard disk drive management and it's going to show you the drives that uh, you have in here. I have two 1.5 gig drives in here and you can also see we're getting smart information and this drive right here is an old Seagate that um, <clears throat> excuse me is giving me some uh, smart info so let's take a look at that. The dreaded reallocated sector count says it is failing mean it's uh, uh, reallocating some blocks there that are going bad which um, looks like it's reached a threshold for for the Synology, but um, you can also do all kinds of things. Look at your uh, drive information and uh, temperatures and whatnot. You can set up an iSCSI target if you would like to. There's a lot of things in um, this station management uh, that we're probably not going to be hitting on on this screencast, but maybe in some others. So back into this setting, we have backups and restores. Backup and restores is for the disk station itself. You can uh, create a backup task that will allow you to back up to uh, a local backup on a shared folder or another Synology server, a network backup, and of course Amazon S3, so that's kind of handy there. <clears throat> Package management is a function which allows you to install different uh, software packages <clears throat> and we'll go over that a little later. Easy Internet is a nice little wizard that allows you to uh, run through the wizard to set up uh, the disk station for access via the internet if you're going to do um, file browsing and um, music streaming and stuff like that. Resource Monitor is a nice little uh, application that allows you to look at um, everything going on on your disk station. And one thing that I didn't mention is you can have multiple applications running at once on this. It's just like a little piece of uh, an OS running. And you can see that I um, probably shouldn't show my uh, MAC addresses and whatnot. But uh, you can see that um, the performance in and out while you're looking at other applications. And you can tile many applications on here. Um, Audio Station is a... Uh, an application that allows you to uh, manage your music and stream to different devices. We're going to be showing you that on uh, the iPad and an Android phone. But uh, it's a real handy little streamer and there is also a photo station that does the same thing. Uh, shares photos, allows you to upload, allows you to give rights to other folks to upload and, and look at those. So let's go into control panel. If you're a Mac user it might look a little familiar. Um, like uh, the utilities in uh, or the configuration settings in a Mac. So we're going to start there. You can set up time machine backups to this uh, Mac file service. You just enable the Mac file service and it will be uh, found very easily. You can uh, enable it as a Win server and add it to a domain or a work group and NFS services as well. FTP, you can set this thing up as an FTP server. It's pretty simple. There's no uh, real secrets about that. Users, uh, pretty common. You have um, all of the users uh, you want to be accessing your system, and you can give them different rights um, to different folders. Groups, same thing. If you want to create groups of users, you can do that as well. 
shared folder. You can see all the shares that I have set up on mine for testing and you can add all kinds of stuff and give privileges uh, beyond the share. Application privileges as well. You can uh, give privileges to all the different apps that you can install on this including the music app and the and the web app. Now, coming into a little bit more um, a little higher level web services you can set this thing up as a web server and have it do all kinds of cool things uh, MySQL, PHP, you can even set up WordPress on this uh, dynamic DNS you can use uh, a host of providers let me get that drop down for you there is of, of course the dyndns.org and all these other guys free DNS, zone um, all kinds of uh, options there. Router configuration, pretty nice little router configuration. Um, it's asking me to set it up as a static IP but I'm not going to do that now and it allows you, it will um, uh, set up all the router connections that you need and it also has a firewall which is really cool. You can set up all kinds of cool things, um, ports and open things, or <laughs> open things, open ports, uh, deny some ports as you wish auto IP block if someone is hitting your this station from the internet uh, from afar you can set up how many uh, times that it will uh, block them out so that's pretty cool as well got a uh, terminal SNMP option for that as well network is going to let you set up all the different uh, things for the network PPPO, PPPOE wireless network you can uh, um, attach a dongle to this thing if you need to and some VPNs pretty simple stuff languages time you can get time off of a server or you can just set it up locally on the box notifications are really cool if you'd like to be notified of any time there's an error or something happens on the disk station you can uh, set up your email server and uh, get notifications that way powers are pretty cool uh, setting where you can uh, create a power schedule on when you want this thing to uh, uh, turn on, react, and you can also give it hibernation times and uh, USB hibernation times as well. Beep control, uh, that's simply uh, tell me verbally with a beep if something is happening and that's pretty handy as well. I've uh, had that happen um, by my own hand that is. Uh, UPS support, um, I haven't messed with this and I would like to but uh, at least it has that in there. External devices. The Disk Station 211 Plus has an eSATA and a couple of USBs, so you can enable that and you can do some things with a button that is on the front <clears throat> of the device itself where if you are at the Disk Station, you plug in a USB drive and you can tell the button to do a one-touch copy to a certain shared folder right here. It also has an SD card slot and you can set up the button to react the same way I guess with cameras and whatnot. Where did I leave off? Restore defaults and DSM update that is just the software update itself. Media server. Uh, enable the DLNA UPnP server so uh, doing the, the music thing we're gonna have to enable that and um, I'm not gonna go deep into that. iTunes, it does also have an iTunes service. I haven't gone deep into that either, but um, we will be getting into that <clears throat> audio station. You can see is enabled, so uh, we'll be doing a demo of uh, to an Android phone later. Photo station, pretty much the same thing, just enabled so you can upload and download your photos. Download station is, I believe that this is a, a torrent type um, uh, download service. So um, note, users must comply with all applicable laws. So uh, yeah, that must be a, a torrent. Surveillance station is one of the cooler things on here. You can enable uh, surveillance station and uh, there's all kinds of IP cameras that this is compatible with. Set those up all over your property, all over your house and the disk station will <clears throat> uh, give, uh, give you a web page to look at all those cameras and do uh, pan tilt and zoom and all that good stuff. <clears throat> file station, uh, you can manage your files mobile uh, via a special port if you just want to enable that. Now, this has been a real quick update of the Synology DSM 3.0.